beautiful fall day over here in North Dallas. Nice green roof. That's a dark hue. Um, okay. Coming along here, we got some wind damage. You see those? See those marks like that? That's wind damage. That's, that's some impact damage right there. All right, wind and impact damage. We got a little storm damage on this section of the roof. And moving on up, more impact damage. All right, coming on along. This is some kind of impact damage. I don't think that's actually hail. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. Moving along, more like hail damage here. This is wind damage, because the shingles, the shingles, they peel, they peel up. All right. Coming on along, this is the north slope. This is the unit next door, okay? So it'd be unit number two, but we do not have, we're gonna notice this on all four of the units. We do not have saddles. Um, I come up with another word here when I walk the next roof. Um, crickets, we don't have crickets or saddles. We got a lot of wood damage right around here. Okay, these deflections in the roof. Nobody likes to see that, but it's pretty much normal. Normal, probably normal is not the right word. Typical, all right, it's not unusual. More wind damage, wind damage, it's from the shingles being loose and blowing back. Makes those lines like that. This is first thing in the morning, so this roof is wet right here, okay? That's what that, and that's called sumping. This is the second unit, by the way. Between that vent pipe and that corner, see how that goes in? We expect a little bit of sagging, a little bit of sagging, but after enough sagging, whoever decides that it's enough, but after enough sagging has occurred, it's called sumping. And that's that's a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna walk up a little bit. What is this? It doesn't really look like wind damage. It's some kind of indention on the roof. Coming on up, it's called soft metal. And this is hail damage on the soft metal. This doesn't affect the flu. This does not affect the flu, but uh, it tells you that we we have had some hail damage. The sheds like that, that's beyond the scope of this inspection. Okay, moving on along. See these clothes dryer vents? We call them bird houses, all right? Those are no longer acceptable. Okay, this birdhouse vent over here is all crushed. Those are clothes dryer vents, by the way. I don't know. I don't believe I was uh, clear about that. All right, those are clothes dryer vents, and they're no longer acceptable by today's standards. You need a vent that has backdraft prevention on it. No, those don't. They're just open and passive. Enough about the birdhouse joke. Okay, we're coming on along here. More, more hail damage. Impact damage. I don't do hail inspections. But we know what it is. Alright. This hump, you know, that's, 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 that's pretty typical. Okay. Coming along here. This is where, this is the south slope over number one unit. This is where I really expected to see some hail damage. If I was going to find some, this is where I would expect to see it. Coming on along. And uh, I don't know, it's bright. Maybe if my eyes get adjusted, I'll find something. But this side, this is some minor stuff, if it's called, if you can call it minor. Going on up. Down again. All right, getting some more damage here. But these are 
wooden chimney chases with prefab metal chimneys inside of it chimney caps and again we don't have a cricket and we won't have a cricket on any of these four units uh, we got a little bit of wood damage back up underneath here uh, wind damage got a little wood damage here on the back look at that okay We're getting pretty close to where I started I think right here in this valley these are factory defects I really don't think that has anything to do this roof's got enough going on it has some concern but I, I don't think that discoloration is part of it if it is it's just get rolled into the same same deal there's enough there's enough impact hail and wind damage on this roof that I'm going to re recommend that a professional roofer come see if this might be an insurance case. More hail damage. I'm going to take some steels 